Hi guys! So we're gonna start a channel because a lot of you guys said that you would watch our channel, so we're gonna try it out. And it's kind of the perks of having eight kids because all of us, there's a lot of us, so we can all do a lot of different things. So today we're gonna be dying a chicken. This is Seeker. So all you need for this is a toothbrush and some food coloring. They do have pet dye, but I feel like this is a little bit safer and it will come out a lot like quicker and you can just redo it and it's easier. So first you have to wash your chicken because, um, well that way the dye is going to spread out more. And also, before she had purple dye, and like it's kind of fading out because she's been in the sun a lot, but not on her belly because um, she's been out in the sun. So we're kind of going to do like a chicken ombre. So I'm going to wash her and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're, okay, so we're back. We just barely finished washing the chicken. So here she is, she, well, you want to make sure that the water isn't too hot or too cold because Silky's really, really, really like, like warm baths. They love being blow dried. They love getting their hair done. So now that she's wet, you want to get your toothbrush and you don't want just like any toothbrush that you're going to brush your teeth with again because that's gross. You don't want to like brush your chicken with it food dye. So you are going to get your food coloring, we have blue, and you're going to rub it all over the toothbrush. And so, once you're done doing that, you're going to pick up your chicken, it's okay, and you're going to brush it. Now you may want to start on the underside, because if you start on the overside, it's going to be very, very strong. So, you just brush it like this, you brush through the feathers, you want to make sure that you get everything. It's not going to stay like on the hard part of the pin feather. So don't be worried if like it's not showing up on the top parts of the feather. So we'll be right back after we're done. Okay, so now that we're finished blow drying this blue one, this is what she looks like. She's very blue on top, but she's still purple on bottom from her last dye. So the reason why she's not as fluffy as this pink one here is because we gave her a deep condition with coconut oil. So she won't fluff up for a couple days, but when she does fluff up, this is what she's going to look like. So without further ado, thanks for watching.